I'm Sean Hammond. We're at the New York Amp Show at uh, the Nola Tone Room with Paul Sanders. Paul, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. You've got a couple of great looking, well, a lot of great looking amps here, <laughs> I should say. But you've got two new amps in particular, right, that you wanted to show us about? Yes, this is the new Rotten Johnny. This is brand new. Uh, this is kind of the debut for it here at the show. Uh, this little guy is a 112 combo. Uh, same size cabinet as the June Bug that some of you may have heard of. Um, and the preamp is is a, uh, a slightly scaled back subset of the Black Tooth Overdrive channel that we'll be releasing next year, which we'll see the prototype here shortly. And what we have here is a very flexible uh, type amp. This has got two gain stages and a phase inverter, and we have a pre and post gain control, as you see here. The pre gain drives controls how hard we drive the second gain stage. The post gain controls how hard how hard we drive the phase inverter. Um, so that gives you a lot of flexibility and allows you to kind of stage the gain up to, to make it more compatible with pedals as well, if that's what you're into. Um, and it has three tone controls, bass, middle, treble, but we call it top, bottom, and mid. Uh, and this is where the amp is way different. The bottom is a clicker. It controls the bottom, but it does it in a way that doesn't load the circuit, which in the result is better harmonic content. And the top is kind of like a Vox cut control wired backwards. So you can roll off the top as well, or brighten it up. Now the mid is a standalone mid control. Uh, it's the type you saw in an old, some of the old Gibson amps. Uh, and it really allows the amp to be transformed in terms of the, the character of the tone. But then you back it off, and it really becomes a different kind of thing. But then we have this mid-lift switch, which lifts the mid out of the circuit. It's foot switchable, and uh, it acts as a boost, too. So with the mid-roll back, you can get some great fender type tones out of this. And uh, it's available with a series effects loop, and you can put a reverb pedal in there, and this will give you a convincing small fender reverb type tone. Uh, that's an option. But then we pull the mid out. Put us in the bridge position. So as you can hear, it's really, really British sounding. And the amp cleans up nicely. And more headroom can be had by pulling the mid out as well. So we pull the mid lift out. So you can, you know, you can push it harder with the guitar without without breaking up. Lots of gain on tap. You can roll these gain controls up. Lift the mid for more mid-range gain. So a really ridiculous range of tones out of the sound. Yeah, that's extremely and, versatile, uh, man. This little guy is about 28 pounds, and it streets for 13.99. So you get a lot out of this little guy, and it's hand-wired turret board construction, mercury transformers, just like all my other amps. So there's no corners being cut here to get a, you know get a better price point. Awesome. This now it's a custom color here. Custom colors, $50 up charge. Normally they're black on the outside and cream in the middle. This is the Black Tooth 50 uh, head, and we just got this built over the weekend. Um, it is the big daddy brother to the preamp that's in the Rotten Johnny. Uh, got a nice peekaboo. Don't tap on the glass. That's the, I'm going to put a sign on, don't tap on the glass. 
But uh, this, uh, you know, as you can see, I've got hand-drawn labels on this. Uh, this is going to be a series of amps that will be available. I, I anticipate in an 18-watt, a 22-watt, uh, possibly a 30. This is a 50 and also a 100, probably with two KT88s. Um, this is a balls-out rock and roll amp. This is not... This is not a, a polite amp. What we have is the two gain arrangement like we have on the uh, uh, Rotten Johnny and the June Bug, although it's a different. It's, there's an extra gain stage in this amp. And this black tooth is for like the heavy rock dude. So, uh, you know, I'm calling it the girlfriend gain and the stripper gain <laughs> as opposed to hot nice. and sweet. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's going to be on the final model, but that's what we called it today. Uh, two gain controls, though. Uh, and in this case, these are driving two gain stays that are voiced differently instead of driving. And, and then the, this one down here, the overdrive volume drives the phase inverter. So you have an extra gain stage inside the preamp. Um, here we have the bottom, same concept of the clicker switch. And that whole idea is to get the harmonic richness out of it. Uh, and then of course this is the overdrive, which is kind of the output volume of that stage, as you would expect. And we have the same mid control with the lift, mid lift, which is, will be foot switchable. So that's the same concept as the uh, Rotten Johnny, and also the the top, which is in the cut control. That's a good loud and proud, you know, semi-push clean uh, tone. Uh, but we also have uh, a push, a push. I'm sorry, a, a pull crunch switch here, which adds more gain in the high mids. So as you can hear, the amp has a really nice chime to it as it is. But then we can come on and open these bad boys up a little bit. too close here. I don't quite have the lead dress worked out on this bad boy. Back off the treble a little bit because it's a little bright for my taste right at this moment. Kind of the Eddie Van Halen brown tone. Sorry, Eddie. I hope I'm, you don't get mad at me for saying your name in vain. <laughs> Gotta get that kind of tone out of this thing. Um, here's the H S A H S M. Asshole. I mean, another happy sound man. So imagine a guy saying, this is a little bit loud. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You need to turn it down. Okay. Sound so, is happy. So is that a wattage attenuator? Or? No. This is not power scaling. It's not an attenuator. It doesn't push the output tubes harder. It's... It's a little something I came across by accident one day playing with my uh, Heath Kit substitution boxes. <laughs> but it's an extension of the Superbugs nightlight. And if you read about the nightlight on the website, it basically it limits the signal going to the output without limiting the gain that the preamp has put into it. So second set, one more. Third set. Make us do a fourth set, you're just going to have to deal with it.
All right, Paul, these amps sound awesome. Thanks for showing us. And uh, where can people go to find out more about them? Uh, you can find out all you need to know um, at www.nolatone.com. That's spelled N-O-L-A-T-O-N-E.com. And uh, it has my contact info. Feel free to call me if you have any questions you're not getting from the website or if you just like to talk to the dude instead of looking at the website. So it's one of my favorite things is talking gear, so don't be shy. All right, cool. Good to meet you, Paul. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate you guys coming in. Yeah, anytime. I'm Sean Hammond, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.